question why are Pojo cars always giving electrical issues? Uh, they are, actually, the, the person that sent this question mentioned, talked about a lot of other things, but this is mostly the main one I want to respond to. Um, now, I don't know if um, the person is coming from a biased point of view, you know, or from the, if the person is biased or he just wanted to, to, to get. <laughs> um, the so-called Lion King to confirm uh, his biased perspective on Pojo cars. Or probably he's actually asking in honest, you know, probably based on, I think this thing is becoming, maybe I have to go into my car and then complete the video, but it's actually ready. So, um, so or possibly that the owner, the guy is asking and being honest, right? About uh the, the project with electrical car issues maybe he okay um let's see Ding. okay uh let me stay here it's raining outside i wanted to do this video outside but now we stand there so um it's possible the is being honest and innocent and it's not like he's looking for i gotcha no. Oh yeah, I've gotten you now. So um, now here is the thing. That is truly there are a lot of people, Pojo users, that have gone through so many horrible experiences in the hands of their Pojo cars. I'm not gonna tell you no, they are lying to you or anything. No, they actually have experienced or gone through nightmares simply for owning Pojo cars. You know, and whilst also there are also people who, if you tell them that Pojo gives them medical issues or give nightmares or are problematic, they'll be wondering, you must be out of your mind because I've been using Pojo cars for years. I don't understand what you're talking about because I've never experienced any of those things. Now, but the question, the the the, the big question people hardly ask. Most of these guys that complain of Pojo electrical issues, the big question they fail to ask them is, how do you actually handle that vehicle? In other words, what what are the things have you done on that car? Because I always say, it's not what kills Pojo cars, or if I will use the word modern Pojo cars. It's not necessarily what you didn't do to that vehicle. Like servicing the vehicle, that way maybe you forget to service the car when due, or, or you know, you didn't change the brake power when it's supposed to be changed, or whatever, or you delayed changing the engine oil that I mentioned before. But what usually kills this car, or what to me constitutes an abuse on Pojo car, is or are the things you do to those Pojo cars. The things you do on them, the day, you know, the oil you put, the what the works you do, all the you know, the usage, even how you drive them. You know, so most people when they go online or when they are telling you, or actually you meet people who truly who are suffering, uh, you know, in the house of their pojo. The only thing they'll be telling you is how this is doing, this guy is doing this today, how much he has spent on this same issue. He spent so many, so many hundreds or, or fifties or whatever of thousands. The next day, the same issue comes up or you complicated ones just bring up the next very few hours or next two days or thereabout. You know, you know. They, of course, that's what they will tell you this and that. But those of first someone like me that where that <laughs> do some repairs and diagnosis of these Pojo cars with. Our own perspective, my own perspective differs from them because from considering what I see on most of these cars, especially, uh, talking about the Pojo cars that they are complaining of, most especially the ones used in Nigeria because that's the one I can, actually, I can talk about. Now, the person that sent me this message uh, did to... Um, WhatsApp and uh, the WhatsApp number because I didn't save no, so the WhatsApp number is a Nigerian phone line. 
So uh, that means you are speaking from what you've gathered from Nigeria, if, or what you've heard from people complaining in Nigeria or from Pojo users in Nigeria. Honestly, if you are too, too innocent, or if you are too, too unaware that you just wanted to confirm, you have no freaking idea what people do to their Pojo cars. I'm talking about modern Pojo cars. As in, in sometimes I wonder, how else are they really trying to claim that they don't even understand why their car are do, uh, they are doing those things to them? You need to see what people do to their cars, not just electrically. I'm talking about the from lubrication to even brake power. Some people will just look for the cheapest or the worst fake brake pad in the market even if they know it's going to damage their brake disc do so many things I, I, I can go on and on and on then the electrical side is even the worst even the engine side i don't even know how to go you tell people they will move they say no they don't want engine or they want grease they prefer to put grease inside their engine these people that buy automatic gearbox they will tell you no i don't want automatic uh, or they don't want the recommended they, they just want anything that has ATF on the label any container that has ATF written on it bring it as long as it, that's the cheapest in the market you know so I could go on and on so in the case that case you, you now wonder why are they not telling the full stories because of course everybody wants not to be blamed you know even when you, if you are telling the story, you still want to sound like, oh, it's his fault, it's their fault. As long as I'm concerned, it's every other person or person's fault around me, but not me. I have no single hand in what is going on or why I'm suffering. You know, so, um, so I'm not going to dispute the fact that truly those people are not having those issues. I mean, you have neighbors, you have people that you, you see that do call every now and then they are suffering they are the workshop they, sometimes their car will set on fire and they, <laughs> you know I, I will say thank you so yeah they do experience those things so don't say um i won't tell you that they don't happen because these modern cars not just Pojo cars are electrically controlled these days almost everything in them yeah they see the ones at least we use here they still have uh, ice internal combustion engines all sort of you know mechanical is the car is still is mechanically that is still running the vehicle however is electrically managed right so and it's being managed by computers various computers not just one engine has its own computer gearbox for automatic has its own computer even the radio everything you can think of now has a computer you know those there are also a central module that also control every other computers what we know as BSI unit so that's why once you mess up one of the systems especially a connection that goes to one or uh, it, it will just disrupt the rest and the vehicle will go into the same thing uh, with the mechanicals if you use the wrong fluid this to that it's a chain reaction you just go and keep until you get rid of the car or the car kills you <laughs> you know so that's the thing uh, if you want to avoid having those issues, um, this is a modern time where you should uh, know how to go about doing things, following your part of risk resistance. What I'm saying is, okay, you want to buy a Pojo car and you don't want to experience all those things. First step is make sure the one you are buying is not abused. If it's Nigerian use, However, if you can afford it, please, please, just avoid used cars. Go and buy brand new cars. Unless, like people like me who are pure car enthusiasts, or I will tell you, not just petrolhead, but hardcore petrolhead. As in, no, I'm not for every brand, but what I mean is, I'm more interested in fun cars. No matter how new a car is, if it's not <laughs> fun, it's not designed for fun. I really give give a shit. Let's say shit about that vehicle. I don't care. You know, I only care about how fun the car is while in action. So that while I'm sitting behind the wheel, I get to enjoy it and laugh and smile and be very happy. 
I don't care how new it looks or how the gadgets. So there are people who people like us who really don't care, even if we can afford the brand new car. As long as it's not well packaged for to give the driver fun, then it's not for us. Even, even some points, unless probably we may have to buy and then start modifying. So buying a new car, if I were to buy a new car, I would just look for the one. It no matter how, even if it's the least on that particular model, as long as it has some uh, form package in it, that's the one I'll go for. Not the ones with the all the gadgets in the world yet yeah, will be very boring so <coughs> get first off start from buy a new vehicle or new pojo car avoid all these things the second point is that i'm talking about someone that really want to in nigeria really want to drive his pojo and enjoy without having all these horrible experiences most people are having or some people that are complaining are having the second one is if you buy a used car get one that is not abused if possible buy directly falling use or what we call tukumbo just avoid anyone uh, used in nigeria you know however like someone like me that uh, inspect and buy cars for people including nigerian use yes i can tell you though the nigerian used car you see will be like wow i mean see so this car was actually used in nigeria i'm not even talking about my own vehicles as well yes you know my own cars i mean i always say i don't can't recall ever having a fuse to cut in any of my cars to to add the ownership so i don't even know what it looks like it changes even none of my engine has ever come down uh, the, I don't, some people always believe that oh after 10 or uh, 100 thousand kilometers the gasket will fail i was like you have no you, you don't even know what you're talking about because if you see the way my car moves the way they accelerate everything, none of them consumes oil, burn oil. So you realize that um, 12 minutes, oof. So you can actually get a very clean Nigerian used ones, but make sure you have somebody that can dictate such ones for you to do the inspection or find one for you. Then the third one, once you've gotten the car, you have to take a step further, not to kill it. There's no point buying an abused car, or uh, there's no point uh, buy, buying non-abused car and end up abusing the vehicle. So you can also buy the abused one. Because if you buy the non-abused one, only for you to put it in that same state you are, you, <laughs> you are running away from. It's a waste of money because the non-abused usually costs higher. The abused ones cost very, very low. So you not go ahead and buy the abused rather than wasting money and go back going back to the same thing so um make sure you don't abuse it by choosing some options uh, first one of the options is okay can you afford uh repairing or fixing your car at or servicing your car at project dealerships or uh, some of these big uh, workshops inside cities where it depends on where you stay I'm not saying all of them actually know what they are doing, but I'm saying probability of your car being abused at such places is very, very low. Because they know they, they have to protect their integrity. So they will go as far as to make sure that they don't abuse your vehicle. So, but they will charge you very high. So, are you willing, can you afford to do that? If you can't afford to do that, there are other options like individual car specialists, people that specialize, especially for me, I specialize in Pojo. So, can you afford uh, that I, uh, that, you know, that I be servicing your car, even though I don't really do, like, okay, any small thing, bring my car, no, I don't do all those things. Mostly I do advice, you know, more like a consultancy stuff. You know, can you afford to pay me that consultancy service? So I'll, I'll be guiding you. If there's any issue that comes up, I'll tell you the what to do rather than doing guesswork. Even if you are very far away where I am. You know. If you can't afford all those things, there's other, other stuff you could do. Like, you get your own scan too. These are almost new. These cars, like I said, are electrically managed or controlled. So it means they design them to be electronically diagnosed. So get this, but scan too. They are 
Even though some people buy the generic ones because they are cheaper and all that. It's something. I'm not saying I'm, that's the one I'm recommending, but <laughs> it's something. Now that I'm not having anything. Or you simply buy uh, the Pojo Planet 2000, the one known as PP2000 or Lazia or Diag Box. You know, there are so many clone ones now in the mall online for sale and whatever. Now, I know, some, I know Pojo or PSA may not like what I'm saying, but honestly, guys, PSA or Pojo, if you guys are serious, make it available. You can't be expecting people to be taking their cars to. Uh, what's it called? To put your dealership to have their car diagnosed and this thing. Make, make it attractive that people can, people who want to also repair your, their vehicles, their Pojo cars, after the warranty has expired, can do it on their own by providing this original diagnostic tool. Right now, it's not meant for uh, individuals to own. So, Chinese people, I don't know how they did, they clone the software and they are selling it. So. You can buy one of those or like I said, Pojo, if you don't like it, then do something about it. You know, you can choose to buy it or the other professional scan tools you can buy. I said those ones too are costly, you know, but the Clone PP2000 is cheaper. Uh, you need a laptop to be able to run it or whatever, you know, so that what I'm saying this is you can actually start diagnosing. You don't have to be an expert. I know you might say, hey, no, anything computer. All you need is guide. You just start from the basic. Oh, you check engine light came up, you put the distance, you just tell you blah, blah, blah. Yeah, interpretation may be difficult for you, but from there, once you, you may just take this, uh, do some search, online search on it, and you understand what that error code means, or what the definition of the error means, or what could cause it. So yeah, you, you can choose to take your car to a mechanic and say, hey, this diagnosis I did, the scan I did on this car is showing it could be this particular sensor. Let's start with the, with the sensor. You find out that you are the one that diagnosing your car. Give it time, you become an expert too of this because with time you understand your vehicle, you know. These are the steps you could take. I'm not saying you should start going to... Uh, uh, dealership, everybody should start going there where well, you know not everyone can afford them, you know. So, take some steps. So, I won't have uh, to have to rely on the local mechanics which you can afford to not be the one to be diagnosing your car, knowing that they may not have that kind of knowledge. Even if you give them this car to they may not have the, the knowledge or the technical know how or how to interpret or even know what is going on. You can now start doing. If you are literate enough, you can understand some of those things. They are not even literate. There are some that are not even that literate yet. They can actually use it and diagnose. Most of these guys outside Nigeria or in the Western world, it's not like they they attended um, tertiary institution, but they are diagnosing people's cars and making money, repairing and all that. So it's something you can also start doing. So you don't need to claim you have masters, you have PhD. Because of that, you look down on people that diagnose cars by themselves or their vehicle. I don't know. I'm just giving you options so I don't have to complain. If you can do all these things, <coughs> however, it doesn't mean. See, there are, there are some moons. I'm not, I'm not lying, guys. There are months, sometimes like three, four, five, six months before an error. Of something will malfunction, like in my Pojo 406 or 607. I'm serious, guys. So, what I'm saying is, you could use it for a very long time before you may have need to even look at this can tool, this can tool to make use of it. Of course, if you buy a brand new car, you don't have any business with such a uh, diagnostic tool, you know. But if you buy a non abused, like a Tokumbo one, or not saying all foreign use are not, uh, some may be abused, but chances. Of getting abused one is very slim. Even when you are buying to combo wireless or five, get a specialist tool to check the vehicle. So I don't end up buying like the converted ones or the you know, ones that are not properly co converted or the ones somebody messed up over there and now ship it to Nigeria and you end up having issues. You know. So take some step, take that responsibility if you don't want to have those things. 
So, the end is then. It's almost 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, some cars have been abused. Some Napojo cars are giving Nigeria users nightmares. But you have no idea what Nigeria do to their car. The kind of crap they do. Connect one wire from there to the other. They just keep bike passing, just cutting, doing everything. But when they want to complain, they won't say all those things. They just be telling you, oh, this car is giving me problems without telling you in details what they've done to that car that makes the vehicle now start giving all those issues. Forgetting that there are people, Nigerians, that are using that same model, that same particular, if it's 406, there are people who are using 406, that same production year of his. And they've never, they've used it for years without under, having any of those issues he's complaining of. So you need to understand, ask yourself, why is, are there aliens and you, human being? Is there anything different? Some of them self, you uh, they are not, they are, they are even, not as rich as the people that are having these uh, uh, issues with their cars. It all depends on, as most of the how people value their cars. People will tell you, I love my cars, but when you see the way they handle their cars, you'll be wondering, is, <laughs> where is that love? Because you are, you are not seeing it on the vehicle. No. So, um, I'm going to end this. Uh, so, if you have more questions, you can always ask. Uh, if I mean, I, these days I'll be doing only video response i think uh, so anybody can always view this whether nigerians or non nigerians it will always be there <laughs> can always uh, watch and understand so if you have more questions just uh, send uh, the details i've already put it in the description we are how to reach me my phone line my email address and everything my whatsapp line most especially so you can not three five four more signing out <laughs>